Hey guys, welcome back to Beard Canics Garage for another project to add episode number five, I think. Uh, so today, I got so frustrated of like not finding my grinder that I bought another one, cheap one. So today we are going to be doing some chopping. And I've also popped to the workshop and went to Rob Scrap Pile to get plenty of rusted sheet metals. And I think I've got all the material to do quite a rat diffuser on the on the Turan. After I know I said I was going to weld myself here for the diffuser I'm not sure because the sheet metal is quite thin so I'll see with Rob maybe it just a few tacks doesn't need to be solid or you know it just need to hold together and have the look by no means is it need to be functional or anything we chop the front as well otherwise we've got some cool new stuff thanks to Neil again pretty cool box which will probably go on the roof once we build a proper roof rack but at the moment when I'm in two seater mode I will basically hook it up to the second row that way I still have some storage and I can carry stuff without everything flying into the Turan and then if you can see at the back I've actually put a stick as gear shop shifter for now I'll try to find something cooler but you know I kind of I don't know, you know, go with the flow, you know. I found a bit of stick that I thought would look good and actually quite feel really good in your hand. I've started working on the stereo as well. This is everything that was behind the stereo. So you've got the whole power box system, all the cable, the screen, microphone, input. Anyway, got rid of all of that. Now I need to find the right where I need to plug in to basically install a subwoofer. Xbox on TV, set up. Already drove with them, they are not going anywhere and they work. So we actually have a working Xbox in there. And yeah, the subwoofer is roughly the same size as the TV there. One is going to basically like set it up on the other side and yeah that's about it anyway enough blah 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 oh another stuff hold on based on another suggestion from Neil he has plenty of really good ideas for rad stuff and he's actually got a cool project which I'm sure we could review when it's done, but basically doing the Volkswagen logo, but made out of rust. So found a bit of metal, perfect for it. A bit of spray paint to kind of give me the mark and then can chop away. And this is basically what I'm thinking of doing the diffuser with. And the they are roughly the same size. With the plate. Doesn't have to be functional, so doesn't have to go deep. <laughs> At least you've got already all that lovely rust around there. Same for all those panels. Yeah, it's muddy, but when it's cleaned up, they're all going to be full of proper patina. That's from an old Ford, Rob is actually uh, fixing all of those panels, Rob has rebuilt, but I think, I don't know, really look like it's meant to be a diffuser. So, I'm going to remove that, and then I think there's some metal you'll have to deal with and probably chop, uh, but yeah, start playing with that. And we can use tape for now. And when we are happy with the design using tape because they'll hang, then I can pop to see Rob get a couple of welded points here and there, and then bush, we can mount it.
Oh, and uh, yeah, with a grinder, I also finally. Ooh, where am I? Uh, here I am. But yeah, I really want to get that bonnet all sanded down as well. Here this weekend, I go to go Japan. The <laughs> not with the Mazda, obviously. I'm going to go with the Touran because all my Japanese cars don't work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year we'll bring something Japanese to go to Japan. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's why I'm kind of like trying to push a bit the two hat so that you know it's it looks good or at least it gets some attention when we get there. But you know what, guys, so far I get more comments saying, Oh, I love it, solo car look good and stuff than any other car before. Mad, didn't it? Really mad. But it means you are going in the right direction. Anyway, let's remove that stuff and start chopping stuff. Yay! <laughs> need to clean up the side a bit and you can see we've got some shit metal but camera to have a look myself. That's not bad. You know, and if you have that crap underneath so it's not going to be that efficient but who cares. Alright, so to mount it, I've kept it simple. Just a bunch of holes, zip tie, I'll cross them where I can, holes in the bonnet. I didn't calculate the hole, I've done them randomly, I've done bonjour, I had to do another hole because those ones were too further away because of the curve and all that jazz, but anyway, as you can see, I test fitted it and it actually look quite nice and then after I'll sort out the little panel to do the side and stuff and like I said, I'm not too bothered about getting it finished today as long as I've got a mock-up and I know where it's going. This plate will be mounted. Those one might wait later to get welded. Because I'm really really keen to get the bonnet sanded down as well today. So you know, I'm going to go up to a point where I'm happy with the diffuser and then I start cracking on with the front of the car. Alright. It's beautiful, even perfectly centered, so I've chopped a bit on the left, still not, yeah, still not perfectly centered, there's a bigger gap on this side than this side, but, yeah, and you, I could in theory, get a bit closer here, I'll see, if it bothers me, I'll get around to it, but otherwise I'll do for now, but yeah, otherwise, look. yeah, Beautiful diffuser. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to now move on to the front. Alright, the front, well, I've got the cutting wheel on there, I'm going to chop that. Those I don't think I need to chop. There, I think they are just clipped on. So I'll see, clip them on so at least I can clean up. But yes, cut that, cut that. That I'm still leaving it on. I had a mesh, but it's it's too short. So you know, I'm just waiting when I find a proper good mesh for it. Cause uh, empty it looks a bit odd. Um, but yeah, on those I still look blue or purple or whatever. But anyway, let me chop that, and then we can send all of it.
right, all done. So now what I'm going to do is try to level it. Then I put some vinegar on top, a bunch of salt, and some other product. And then I let it sit overnight and see how much rust we can get. All right, so we've got vinegar, salt, and hydrogen peroxide is the one. The bonnet is pretty, you know, leveled, but obviously the shape is not perfect, so some of it will run, but with, once we've put the salt in, the salt should create a bit. And obviously I've got everything covered, so stuff gets wet a bit, it's not big. You can actually do like a proper mix of the, tr of the tree in a bottle, which then you can spray with do instant rust. But I've tried on seldom work on it create pressure on the bottle I had exploded in the garage, so be careful if you do it. Ah, it's salt. What's nice with uh, putting the salt directly on it is that the amount of salt won't be the same everywhere, so it create a more, a less even rust if you know what I mean. And I'm still going to spread that first, so we've got good coverage. And now we just press that bad boy on. And if you look at the weather, it's going to rain soon, so you know, hopefully it works. But if you look here, you can see we've already got some coloring here. Look, see. The wind. Very satisfying. Though, isn't it? Let me change, and that one is full of salt. As soon as it's it is both rust. You can really see like every time I spray the salt dissolves more and it sprays more. So much effort put into sending it down <laughs> just to be able to rust it. <laughs> oh, lovely. So now I guess we just uh, let it hang. Uh, on tape on it, considering the weather, I might actually let it like that all night and tomorrow we can check the result. It's going to be hard to sleep. And there we go guys, yeah, it's been a couple of days, it's going to rain in a minute. I'm going to basically leave it untreated for a little bit, see how it evolves. And then eventually, obviously, we will put some rust retardant coat of lacquer on it because yeah we don't want it to turn into mush either so yeah let me know what you think i love it i love it this is definitely there is other area i want to put rust on i need to put my head around where at the minute but yeah definitely love it still feel a bit weird to spend like ages sending it down to rust it but yeah a great result guys anyway uh, I've done other bits and bobs, but I'll show you in the next video. Also, the rusted logo I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, I'll do another episode because my Dremel is out of battery and the only disc, cutting disc I would got for the grinder is massive. So there is no way I'm going to do like a logo that looks like the Volkswagen logo properly. So, you know, I'll do that in another episode when I finally found <laughs> the charger for my Dremel or buy another charger 
you know, because kind of wise didn't work out. I still haven't found my Rio bike kind of. I'm sure it's somewhere, but yeah, so you know, I really hate buying stuff. I know I have, but sometimes you just still need to get the job done, don't you? Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment when you think of all that jazz. Give us a like. Uh, even if you don't have an opinion, just saying nice one or a comment that is meaningless actually help promote the video on help us. So any comment is good, you know, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.